Good evening, and today we're gonna discuss the CTO um, RCA from Radial Access. We're gonna go step by step from wiring to ballooning. Um, this is the first angiogram, jar four. You see the um, cap kind of like a blunted cap, and what made it a little bit difficult is two branches coming through this one and this one and both not going to the uh, the true lumen the left side angiogram is okay there is uh, stents in the circ okay moderate lesions in the um, uh, LED and there is collaterals toward the RCA okay I um, started the case first with um, uh, PTY so JR4 guide PTY supported by small 1.5 balloon and you see it has one dot first the wire kept going to the other branch which is okay and um, we're gonna balloon this area and then continue the track through the um, calcified and uh, you can see the shadow of the vessel so we balloon this area for better visualization distal and then redirect the wire toward the distal advance the balloon support the balloon and then uh, while inflated sometimes you have to spin the wire now we reach this bend yeah for this bend i have to inflate the balloon here and then while the balloon inflated try to advance the wire distally the same i have to advance the balloon inflated distal and while the balloon inflated nominal pressure you could spin the wire distally of course need to make sure there is no resistance upon advancing that balloon now here is the angiogram there is some reassurance that's the wire in the true lumen yeah. up to this segment the distal segment so here we start ballooning with 2O balloon. Here I have to use the guideliner and 2O balloon. And of course you're gonna balloon from distal to mid. Here is the angiogram. Still cannot see the true lumen. So I have to advance the wire, redirect it toward PL and balloon the PL. So now we are ballooning the PL toward the um, uh, RCA now you can see the true lumen now we can extend this segment toward the RCA and the whole RCA before stenting I have to use the shock wave um, so this is 2.5 shock wave I have to use it all over all the runs were used distal and mid shockwave lithotripsy proximal to shockwave and this is after the shockwave now you can tell where we're gonna place the stand distally here is the uh, distal RCA stand which was 3038 millimeter stent large stent another three or three five 38 stents in the mid segment now here's the angiogram so we still have this area here up to here and we have this segment toward the um, uh, pl so we're going to use a three five here and uh, two seven five and uh, toward the pl here is the stent proximal, of course overlap with the prior stent and all of them at high pressure, up to 18 atmosphere. And of course before pulling the 
balloon always advance the guide liner in case you need to do something distally so you see you swallow the guy and uh, the balloon with the guide liner before pulling the balloon out and now here is the angiogram and you can see or visualize the area still have a lot of trash or thrombus in that distal segment so we have to balloon it and why we advance the guide liner in case you need to advance another stand distally like now so it won't be stuck with the struts so that's the best way you swallow the guide liner distal and then you advance the second stand or the distal stand and here is the distal stand toward the large pl and here is post dilation of that stent at high pressure and here is the final result thank you for watching have a good day